Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in the previous video we successfully implemented a form so that we can upload our carousel images into the database and this is working fine. So in this specific video we are going to retrieve those images and display it in place of the carousel images. So yeah guys our form was really a basic one because we just needed to up we just needed a simple form so that we can upload the carousel related images into the database so this functionality is at least working fine so yeah guys uh, let's move and first of all what i'm going to do as we discussed that we are going to delete those images because these images are uh, but just for the testing purposes so i just need to delete them so how can we do that simply come to the git bash stop the project php artisan migrate roll back because in this case we don't have much data so i can simply roll back my migrations okay so it's done now i'm going to php artisan migrate again okay now in this case we don't have any sort of data let me just refresh it for you okay so it's empty now second part i don't want extra images so i'm going to delete these images as well okay so delete delete files and just like that okay so it's done now what we can do is <clears throat> let's move here and let's access the carousel here but first we need to run our project so using this command okay now let's access the carousel page so the url was slash carousel okay now let's upload these images that i have on my desktop that are related to carousel okay so first one this one okay upload okay upload it successfully let's do it for the second one as well open upload let's do it for the third one as well in total i have four because someone wanted me to upload more than three images i don't know why because this functionality is going to work perfectly fine if even if you upload 10 images okay so last one i think that is sunset yes this one upload okay guys now let's move here just wanted to show that we have our data right here okay okay so yeah let's move to carousel we are not going to see anything because we didn't receive our images so yeah let's do that let's move to sublime and in this case right here you can see our images are uploaded so first let's access the carousel uh, controller so carousel controller this one okay now let's retrieve all the images right here dollar carousel images equals to carousel all because i want all the images let's die and dump so that we can make sure that we have our data on the carousel page let's do a refresh and right here you can see we have four records working perfectly fine let's pass these images to to the blade file so that we can loop them compact without a dollar sign carousel sorry i'm saying without a dollar sign i'm writing it <laughs> sorry for that guys okay yeah now let's move to carousel blade this one. okay and now we just need to retrieve them so yeah guys let's move here so in this case we have some dummy data and in my case we don't need that actually right here you can see the class carousel item so uh, we are going to use only one this one because we are going to use the for loop so we don't need the extra one so i'm going to remove it then sorry because we have multiple so yeah okay now we can simply do is let's put our condition first to make it robust so dollar if dollar carousel images then you can proceed okay at the rate for each dollar carousel images as dollar carousel okay and first let's close this out so right here at the rate end for each and if okay and right here i don't need this image anymore so let's display our image so asset and inside public folder we have images folder where we have our carousel related images so i'm going to put this slash and let's display our image right here concatenate dollar carousel image okay column name just like that let me just show you in this case we are going to display all the images i will tell you why let's first do a refresh 
okay so right here you can see first second third fourth why is it happening guys so basically we have our active class on for all the iterations iteration one two three four so we need to fix that using a using a condition so let me try that okay at the rate if dollar loop first let's say uh, right here i'm defining that let's say if i'm on the first iteration what you need to do is you need to display active class right here okay if not you don't need to do anything that's it so and if if i'm in the first iteration uh, print the class active just like that refresh and right here you can see it's working fine now see we have our carousel images okay let's move forward now simply right here if you don't want this first slide you can simply get the id right here it's totally up to you if you want to get the css of first slide you can do that as well but i don't think it uh, really matters so yeah i'm going to display carousel id okay and right here is well, as well sorry so carousel id just like that okay let's do a refresh just just to make sure that we are not breaking anything perfectly fine let's move once again okay guys so yeah it's working fine okay uh yeah uh, let's say if you want to display an example headline and paragraph right here what you need to do is you need to uh, display the respective data right here just like that carousel id so let's say if you have carousel heading you can display it right here carousel, carousel paragraph you can display it right here it's just like that okay so yeah guys uh, it's working fine i don't think we need to do anything else right here yes it's working fine okay so let's move up because I wanted to show you something else as well. Someone wanted to know how can we reduce or de uh, increase the time of this uh, data travel. So let me show you. So right here where we have our carousel class, you can simply uh, write, uh, define an attribute data interval. And the default value is 2000, which is three seconds. I'm going to assign 1000. So let's do a refresh. Now our carousel should move after one second. You can see that right here. Okay, so it's working fine. I'm going to put it, let's say two seconds or so 2000, just like that. Let's do a refresh once again. <clears throat> okay, so one and two and it's moving now. Okay, so yeah, it's working fine. Now, last thing we need to do it right here. And yeah, in this case, actually, I don't need to display these allies multiple times simply i can use the for loop once again so i'm just going to copy these two lines okay let's paste it right here let's align them okay so for the first class where we have uh, where i have the active class i'm going to put a condition so yeah let's start with that so if once again same condition dollar loop if it's the first item what you need to do is you need to display this ally at the rate else else you what you need to do is else you need to display this ally and i'm going to pass the id okay as simple as that carousel in id and let's close this and if and if and for each at the rate and if once again okay so yeah Right here, we don't really need to define the ID. Why? Because by default, it is going to be on the zero, uh, zero level. Okay. And we don't need to change anything right here. If you want, you can. There are multiple ways. But in this case, you can keep it default because our first iteration would be the active class, basically. Okay. So let's do a refresh once again. And after every two seconds, it should move and it's working perfectly fine so yeah guys one more thing let's say if you have uh, your carousel related images just about the height and width of this uh, page or this area you are going to display uh, more uh, let's say uh, beautiful image like you can see a bit uh, there is uh, an issue related to aspect, aspect ratio the images are stretching and something like that but let's say if you have a proper image of the size of this carousel you are going to show your images uh, like perfectly fine right here so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care